Now, uh, family dynamics can be fractious at the best of times, especially when your brother is the Prime Minister. A lot has happened since Boris walked into number 10 eight months ago. And today, his sister Rachel Johnson is here to tell us how she thinks he's doing, as well as talk about her tell-all new book. Please welcome, of course, Rachel. Great to see you. And you're not alone today. <laughs> oh, my You've got goodness. the beautiful little Ziggy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's mm, what we all need a little bit of up, today. That, that really is cheap. I just don't need to say yeah. anything. Do I, I thought I could no. distract everybody? Not get away with that either. <laughs> <I feel>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to be fair, it worked for a good 30 seconds there, Rachel. I didn't think of it anything else other than this little puppy. How old is he? She. She, sorry. She's eight weeks. Oh. And the reason Look at that little beautiful. town. Oh. She loves it. The reason I brought her in is I mentioned on Sky this morning that we were talking about how we were going to get through the crisis. And I said, well, I just picked, I've just got a puppy. And then, of course, there was this real really unpleasant twitter pylon that said you know a dog isn't woman, just for christmas you, you know or, stupid yeah. woman how could you no not not just that but we can't all just get a puppy to get through the crisis uh. it's like have we really got to the point where an english woman can't say she's got a lovely new dog after mourning her old dog for four years without causing a twitter pylon yeah. it's like we've just all got he's to just show... eating your microphone so oh. i'm gonna I'm just... <laughs> oh. <laughs> sorry Ziggy, um, Ziggy, yeah, a cockapoo, I've got one exactly the but, same, you know, they're lovely. I suppose there's so many people out there who are really panicking and looking for somebody like you. To be cross to with, like when my dad said he was going to go to the pub, which, you know, maybe was a stupid thing to say, but I didn't think he did it to be provocative. Yeah. He just said, you know, I, I think he think... was probably thinking about the hospitality trade, which you know, a million people have already lost their jobs. I don't think people are looking for people to be cross with. I think they're looking for people to aspire to. Right. So probably someone like you or even Boris, or they want you to tell them what to do. Like They want you to say, right, I think this is the best thing to do. And I yeah. suppose when they don't get an answer that, that, that everybody can't yeah. possibly well, do, of course not it's difficult to... There's no puppy. right or wrong, is there? But I just else? thought, you know... It's cheered you guys up. It's yeah. cheered yeah. me up. It's yeah. cheered my husband up, who's in a high-risk group. It's cheered my kids up. Do you know, Rachel, you know, though, I guess, regardless yeah. of what your political views are and whether you support or indeed do not support your brother, I certainly don't envy him I or do indeed support the government him. right now. Mm -hmm. I do you support do. him. Um, I think but he's doing an incredible job. It's, it's, yeah. I, I can only begin to imagine what this must be like for your entire family, actually, because I'm guessing this trickles down to all of you because he is your brother away from all of this. Yeah. It's hard to see somebody, you know, carrying such a weight of responsibility, and I can't imagine the strain he's under. Oh, I genuinely yeah. can't. But so he is strong. The job as well. He is strong. Yeah. And he's got a brilliant team around him. And they got the best experts, and I'm glad that they're doing these daily briefings. And, you know, it's really hard up there to know if they're taking the right decisions for so many people. I mean, you know, this could crash the economy, and then whose fault is that? You know, they've got to save lives. You know, mm. that is the priority. Mm. But the collateral for the economy, as we can all see from mm. our lives, you know, the fact that all these shops have shut, Westfield just around the corner is pretty empty. Mm. It's, mm. it's going to be devastating. These are really, really dark times. Mm. Mm. Which is why I thought the puppy was a good idea, oh. but I'm so sorry I no. upset so many people. <laughs> the you puppy shouldn't worry so anyone. much what people think. <laughs> I do. It's weird. It's a but weird why? middle child. It's a middle child thing. What? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's I get not. that as well. No, no, yeah. I'm middle child, and I definitely worry what people. I'm yeah. middle child, but I don't yeah. give a oh, god. It means Carol. Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. So, Have you got my book? I gave two copies yes, to well, the showrunner. Rachel, I was I mean, just not going to show. say, Where your, your book breaks uh, <laughs> Not progress. here to talk about Boris. No. <laughs> uh, my political midlife crisis. It is, of course, out today. Yeah. Um, it, it, I mean, it's, it's a fantastic read in that you are very honest. Um, yeah. I'm guessing there will be things in there that certain members of the family mightn't be happiest <sighs> with. Uh, what, how do you go about writing a book like that? Because ultimately, you do have to be honest or we can't buy into it. Well, I read, saw something somebody said, write as if your parents aren't alive, OK? And if you're going to write, you've got to put your reader first. And you can't write every sentence thinking, oh, who am I going to offend and who am I going to upset? But I think the book is really loving. It is honest. I hope it's funny. Um, I didn't write it in order to flatter anybody, but, you know, it's my story from my point of view. And actually, at the end, I say, I, I say thank you to, you know, my editor, my publisher, and I say, and apologies in advance to any member of my family, you know, if I've got anything wrong. I wrote this book in real time last year after I stood um, as a 
candidate in the European elections. And it was a catastrophic and very comical failure. <laughs> so a lot of it was written as, it, as things were happening. And when I look back, for example, I'm much too hard, harsh about how I felt how badly Brexit was going to go. I think, you know, given what we're all facing now, Brexit is a... Oh, yeah. I know. I, I yeah. kind of want it to I've come said, back. Yeah, yeah, I miss yeah. Brexit. Yeah. Um, mm. Rachel, you've, you've said that you're going to get a bit of a, a backlash from the book anyway, so... But you care about what people think, so I know. that's a little bit of a contradiction, isn't it? I know. It? It's a sort of, I am my own worst enemy, because I, what, somebody said... When I was editing The Lady, the publisher's mother said, put Rachel in front... She's perfect, she's charming when you meet her, but put her in front of a typewriter and she's a mad woman. So I turned into this <laughs> different person. <laughs> I, I, I can Yeah, and I'm something else. It's like I've got this good angel and this bad angel, and... The truth is, is that I, you know, I'm always drawn towards writing something that's going to be entertaining mm. and jolly and spiky and revealing and funny. But you've also said but as well are, that it's quite yeah. a good time to bring a book out. Did yes. I say that? That's what it's my well, book. Yeah. You don't want because backlash. it's because it's, there's there's <laughs> yeah. massive distraction and people are, are just thinking about more important things and they're probably not going to be too bothered about your book. It's a bit, I'm being polite there. No, oh. you're right. I mean, I, it'd be nice to think that people might read it during that. Yeah, yeah there's right. going to be a lot of reading. Yeah. <laughs> there's going to be a lot of that, I think. And lot, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of time on people's hands, not potentially. I isn't know. There? I know. No, exactly. Well, the book is out today. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Thank Trisha. Good luck. No matter what anyone said, I always love having a little. Oh. on the show. Goodbye. Thank Bye. you so Bye, much Ziki. indeed.